Hello folks and welcome back to Trilby's, Trilby's Notes. Notes. We're in the Up, uh, I'm gonna call this the Dark World. It seems very Zelda ish. What of. you mean that in, in the, it's a dark light world? Do, yeah, like the world dark world. Uh examine skeleton. The skep. Yeah. The entrance room of the ultimate Clan Bronwyn Hotel. Retain the basic shape in that pigeonholes remain at an altar about the right size and shape for the reception camera. <laughs> oh, yeah. Examine altar. Some kind of wayside stone altar on which some poor wretch had underwent some kind of sacrificial ritual. Uh, okay, in that case. Open door. Hey, a video game. Play game. Even if it were in walk fully walking order, I have far better things I could be doing. <laughs> Examine poster. I think it's a picture. Poster. The left poster was some kind of portrait of the strange masked figure I'd glimpsed in the glimpsed in the hotel. The middle one was blank. The third was smashed. Open door. Okay. Uh, dispel hallucination. To, to, to Trilby's room on the third floor. I guess. Mm -hmm. Given that we haven't been up there yet. Forgetting how he gets caught on the geometry of the staircase when they're not perfectly straight like the like the middle ones. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's one. This is two. This is three. What's that? Ah, bring her back. Some kind of display. Look, dummy. Some kind of porcelain mannequin, but with bits missing. I couldn't see how it was attached to the wall. Oh yeah, that's a quest thing for. Le that's a thing for later. <coughs> we have to find all the pieces of the mannequin. Yeah. Uh, what was our room? Open. 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 Unlock. Uh. Okay, where next? Uh, look. Yep, we need to. We, we do need to be in the bar. I always have to be in the bar. I know you always have to be in the bar. No, I have to be behind the bar, unfortunately. Yeah, we have to go, 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 loot the bar. Okay. Run. That noise is going to get tedious, isn't it? What, the, the him walking? <laughs> Open door. You put a pen door then, to be fair. Uh, get tool. Get pliers. Rusty but functional. I took them with me. Uh, open door. So, where am I taking the pliers? Uh, if you take the thing. Uh, 
este yeah. Go to bar, get pliers, take them Use to... Use pliers and coats. Okay. Exit back to the hallway, take the left exit. Walk over to the door with the corpse hanging over it. Use pliers and coats. The door with the corpse hanging over it. Yeah. Ah, yes. Here we are. Use pliers. Remove. Remove. So just use nails. pliers and, and corpse. Use pliers on corpse. The pliers were ideal for removing the nails, so you did so. And then all of a sudden, it's that you see him um, open door, no. and we're in the toilet. Take envelope. Uh huh. Take envelope. Took the envelope. It was strangely bulky and tore it open. A white pill bottle and a note fell out into my hand. I here enclose this note with my report. If you're reading this, then you two have seen the hotel change. At present, I have no idea if the alternative hotel is part of the ethereal realm or some kind of construct or a pocket dimension. <coughs> There's definitely correlation between one's agitation and tendency to reality shift. Fear is your enemy, leaves you shining like a beacon for whatever evil brought us to this place. Encloses a bottle of tranquilizers from my personal first aid kit. When you find yourself shifting to the other place, take a pill and try to calm down. And the real hotel will return. Do not let it concern you. I'm researching the phenomenon. Your task is to find the foe. Good luck, Agent Linkman. Is it the guy from outside? Yep. He's raised his quick letter raised more questions than it answered. I pocketed the pill bottle. So he's not that much of a douche. No. Yeah, take pill says you says use pills. Use pill. Took to tranquilize into my palm and swallowed it without water. Took effect, the anxiety lifted. Dismal surroundings felt less imposing. Then he felt that strange sensation. World quivers. And we're back in the normal hotel. Yes. Okay. Uh, I assume I'm going back to the reception because that's where that painting is. Um, hotel. Back here. Take the mattress and the desk. You need to go back in the. Back in the bar. Uh, well, um, we're, we're, um, we're, we're, sorry, no. open hang on. Door, open door and exit. Wait, what? I appear to have... There we go. I've you, forgotten about that. What, you found an Easter egg? No. Sometimes you get transported to other places. Open door. Open. Open, open door. door and exit. Open door. Yeah, take the right exit. You've, already, you've already, already gone the right exit. You need to go take the right exit. You need to go back to the thing as it is. Okay, what? Well, uh, take the right and then. Get the, um, take, walk to the painting, touch painting. Ah. And that will take you. Guess where? <laughs> touch. Hang on, touch. Perhaps I should try rephrasing that. No, it looks as if it says touch painting. <laughs> oh god. Step closer, I could feel sound becoming muffled, head spinning. My hand, as if pulled, as if pulled by an invisible string, reached out to the brush strokes and flashback. Uh, 1821, Defoe Manor. This is uh, what's face William Defoe, William Defoe, William Defoe painting the painting that we just took. Oh, Matthew Defoe, sorry. 15 today, finishing touching all the paintings. His father commented on encouragingly. Now convinced his father's lifting from depression. <coughs> Make the painting perfect before showing it again. Knock, knock. Knock. So, Roderick has requested your presence in the trophy room. Thank you, James. If you so be good, uh, reform him, I'll be retiring for the night. Take painting. Walk. There you are, boy. This is my son. Uh, this is my friend, Mr. Smith. He's an expert in African tribal art. Uh, scholar. 
He offered to assess the figurine he brought back. You know the one. Mm-hmm. He wasn't where he had family. Is this your wife home? No, she's dead. No longer with us. We wouldn't have known illness. I finished the painting I showed you. Good. What do you think of the piece? Interesting little puzzler, actually. Few Central African tribal gods. Never seen anything like it before. How did you get it? Uh, found it as a younger man on his travels in the dark continent. Travelling around the west coast where a ship that had run aground. Clipper, the sea angel. Every single crewman had just disappeared. Immediately sent a letter to the nearest embassy. On the very lowest deck of the ship he found that idol. Extraordinary tale, African tribal carving, British vessel. It wasn't a trading vessel, and might have been a Negro on the crew. Personal mystery of mine ever since. Hoping you could shed a little light on the matter. Haven't even begun to recount the strange events that surrounded this. Would you care for a glass of brandy? Yeah, uh, take brandy, put painting on the door. Matthew, fetch brandy from kitchen and some glasses. Walk to the Kamenek steak store, take brandy, put painting in the door, open the door on the right side. Take brandy. Uh, okay. You haven't tried to speak to me in a while. Put painting in the door. I did another painting today, I showed it to father, he said it was promising. I keep trying to tell him about you, but he never listens. You haven't looked for me in so long, I've been to wonder if you were real. Bang bang. Do you want to see my painting? Put painting under door, door. Pushing the painting under your door, okay? I'll give it back when you're finished. How dare you, sir! Use something hospitality. Get out of my house, you worm! Open the door on the right side. Let's see what's the matter. Open door. Father? Oh, it's you. What happened? I heard shouting. An old fool! You told me some rubbish about my figure. So the only tribe it could have come from died in slavery years ago. Never had the nerve to accuse me of buying from a forger. What are you apologizing for? <coughs> Where's that brandy? Here. Have some brandy. I'll go back to my room. Show me your painting. You said you had a painting. Show me. I can't. Because I gave it to the boy behind the door. And he goes, huh. Go back to your room. I have to write my diary entry. Hour of silence. Most disturbing thing had been mention of uh, raising this had provoked violent rage or instant denial. Now it didn't, so smash. What's that? What are you doing? Walk through the open door. Mm-hmm. Open door. Confused by his own reluctance, I'm see behind the door. Peered cautiously through rough stone steps, basement. Should have done this the moment you came into the world. You give me creation. Da ba da ba da. What are you doing? You see what you've done? I didn't want him to see this. Uh, you see what you've done? Bonk. Couldn't resist. You looked so lost in that painting, I didn't think you'd ever saw me come in. Wait, what? Everything alright? Yes, everything's fine. Just for a moment there, I thought I saw... Never mind. You said you seen uh, something was making you anxious. I think that's still the case. I'm okay. Sure. sure. I was certain my mind had not been playing tricks on me. I had been back there in Defoe Manor, looking through the eyes of Matthew Defoe. I had seen the events that had created John Defoe. I saw his death at the hands of Sir Roderick, that terrible violent end that would bring back us that awful wraith. 
but somehow seeing that event, it was clear to me there was more to this than the ghost of one retarded youth. There had been something very wrong about that idol, even before it was used to destroy John Defoe. A name stood out in my memory, the Sea Angel, the name on the name of the ship on which Sir Roderick had found the figurine, and now had a lead. Do you know anything about a ship called the Sea Angel? It's funny you should mention that. The really old wooden chisel among the Defoe Manor artifacts. And the word Sea Angel are carved in the handle. <coughs> Where is it? It's on display in the hall next to the dining room. What's this about? It's nothing. Just a side project my clients want me to get onto. Thank you. No problem. Take care of yourself. Go to that. Oh. So this is tape matches back here. Tape matches in the desk. Uh, one minute. Uh, there's something hanging from behind the painting. Um, didn't say anything about that. This is Hoff back here. Tape the matches in the desk. Take match. Head to the open door at the back of the room. Uh, climb up to the first floor hallway. Between room 1B and 1C. Use the answers. Walk to the detector between room 1B and 1C. The smoke detector yeah. right here. Now it says, and I, I'll, I'll just quote this to, to laugh at. I'm guessing you actually wrote, let's know someone from Game Facts about this. It says, use math on detector instead of math. I'll use math on det. You need to use match on this level. So, detect or. I don't understand the word math. <laughs> you need to use match, obviously. But I just found it funny, I just thought I found it funny that it says that. <coughs> I, or I could just use match, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden we see the tall man in front of the fireplace at Defoe Manor. Click. Go for the now unlocked door. Open door. Uh, descend the fire escape. Go to the table. Take, Take the crowbar. crowbar. Walk back to the ladder and say climb. Um, and take the crowbar to, to the that stair, room. Head back to the stairwell. Go downstairs. Go down, head back to the stairwell and go back down, downstairs. Yeah, to the convention room. Smash the case. Take and the chisel. Exit to the left. Exit to the left again. But then it says, make sure you're in the alternate world. Okay. Well, he said. Uh, Page from a religious book I wasn't familiar with. I close it here with these notes. Victim 5, the child. The fifth man who desired judgment was the child, whose father held the carving of the slave. The prince came to him and was at once rightly pleased with what he had found, for the house of the child and his father already knew well the name of the king. And as the prince watched, the child was thrown down by his father and broken with the wood of the prince's soul. But as the child's body, mind and soul began to drift apart, the prince held them together and he said, you are the child, and to you I grant power, for I see in you the potential that will grant my father, the king, his greatest wish. You shall not be of the land of technology, nor of the realm of magic, but of both, and, you shall, and thus you shall form the bridge. Okay. And across the bridge the king shall come to bring his message to the men of technology. Through you, child, the bridge will come, and thus I name you the bridge keeper. And the prince touched the child, and he was the bridge keeper, and the three aspects were granted power, so that his soul would join with the prince's soul in the wood of the tree. And the bridge keeper rose up and threw down his father, and threw down his brother, and truly did they know the name of the king. And into the house of his father went the body and the mind of the bridge keeper. So that's the whole thing of how John IV came about. Yep. Sorry. Says religious text that you, that, uh, that you don't recognise, but... It features quite prominently in uh, six days. Okay. Okay. It says make sure you're in the alternate world, doesn't it? Yeah. By, okay. so by doing that, and you go left and right. Now, basically, con just, just, just keep, continue, just keep continually. Yeah, like that. Re-entering, yeah. 
Okay, use crowbar on boards on the door with the boards over it. Okay, that one. Use crowbar. Crowbar is older, that possesses the nature. Use crowbar on boards. Now use pit. The stress right. proved too much for the ancient crowbar, which was meant to uselessness. I discarded it. Now use pills. And <coughs> we'll land it there. Take pill. Um, use pills. Use pills. Use pills. Use pills. Um, and then open the door, sorry. Ah. Okay. Uh, open door. Oh, you got to. So, what you have to do. Okay, I have to be you in gotta, the. You've got to basically use the pills. Cause the, uh, open the door, then use the pills. Yeah. No, use the pills first while you're in the alternate world, then open the door and go through it. Because then it'll. But yeah, so use pill now, use then open the door. Because when you go through the door, you'll be in the hotel. Open door. There you go. See? Okay. Right, so and we have to end it. Save it. End it here anyway. Yeah. Okay. Well. So, once again, I've been Gone Games. I'm Rewind. And we'll see you next time. Bye bye. -bye. bye, -bye.